Hi, today we will go over ingesting Prometheus metrics into Dynatrace using Open Telemetry Collector in under 3 minutes. The documentation for ingesting Prometheus metrics into Dynatrace by using an OTL collector is available on the GitHub page that I will link to. You can actually see that we are doing something very simple. We first create a token with permissions to ingest these metrics into Dynatrace using the Dynatrace API. Then we download the open telemetry operator because that is what is going to push these metrics into Dynatrace. And then we just add that in the add those Helm charts, we update them. And then we have something called these values.deployment YAML file, which is specifying what metrics do get ingested into Dynatrace. I will show that file to you in a minute. Um, this file is just taking care of providing the Dynatrace token again into that. It is procreating the credentials. It's just providing the name of the Kubernetes cluster. What is the node name and then specifying what are the things that need to be pushed in from these cube cluster or from this Prometheus metrics into Dynatrace. So this file is also available. You can just pick this, um, run this file apply the collector and then it'll start ingesting uh, Prometheus metrics into Dynatrace and we shall do that in a minute. We are connected to our Kubernetes cluster that is running within Azure. So we have the kubectl that is available here. We will start installing. So let's start the stopwatch. And then the first command is to create a secret. I've already done this. The reason is I didn't want to share my secret. So I've run this command. The second one is downloading the cert manager. I will now do that here. There it is kind of taking care of installing. It's doing a lot of the things. Seems like that is done. The next command is going to be um, to download the open telemetry operator. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Okay, seems like this also worked. Let's go and get the next command, which is going to be adding the Helm charts. So we're done with two and three. The third one is right here, which is, um, we'll run this one by one. So let's copy the first one here. And okay, seems like that is already there in our Helm. We are going to update this. And then we'll apply the values.yaml file. So, okay, that worked as well. And now we are going to just apply this values deployment.yaml file, which has all the configurations for making sure that all those metrics get pushed into Dynatrace by the hotel collector. There. Seems like that has worked too. So we have everything that we needed to in order to get this open telemetry collector deployed, the Dynatrace collector deployed and push these metrics, which are the Prometheus metrics into Dynatrace. Now we will give it a minute and then we will go into Dynatrace and see how these metrics are coming through and create some dashboards so that we can view all our Prometheus data into Dynatrace and all in under two minutes. Now within Dynatrace, if you come into the data explorer and search for API server, you can get all of these metrics that are coming from that from Prometheus into Dynatrace. So you can see that all the different API server metrics are not now coming in using that open telemetry collector that we installed. It is ingesting all of those metrics into Dynatrace. You can now put these into a dashboard, view them and get metrics not just for your pods and your workloads but if in case you have api servers within your kubernetes environment your core dns and your, all of your kubernetes core components metrics you can get them into dynatrace and get full holistic observability for your k8 clusters if you did find the video useful you can now go to dynatrace.com kubernetes and there you will get details about how you can actually start monitoring your K8 environments with Dynatrace. And you can see that it doesn't take a long time to get all of this set up. You can get it done in less than 10 minutes where you can get full observability into your K8 clusters within Dynatrace and happy monitoring.